Oh. Yeah! Yeah! East Asia Super League, the Emerging Basketball Champions League for Asia, now brings you all horrific. A new show featuring the best professional ballers from around the region. Up close and personal. So good evening, sports fans. Welcome to another episode of Ball Horrific featuring Pro Hoop stars from across East Asia. Thank you for joining us as we get up close and personal with some of the region's top ballers. Ballerific is brought to you by East Asia Super League, the premier pro basketball competition this side of the Pacific. My name is Alex Olin. I'm joined by my show G. Our first guest tonight, 47th overall pick in the 2014 NBA draft, a world record holder when he averaged over 61 points in the Chinese NBL in 2017, also held NBA D League scoring record with 65 points in one game. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Russ Smith, aka Russ Fischler. Thank you guys for having me. It's amazing. Thank you guys. Joining Russ tonight is one of the most popular stars from Japan. Um, and he won 2019-2020 Most Impressive Player in the league He has been part of the U16 and U18 Japan national team and a former captain of the Yokohama B Corsairs and now currently in Hiroshima Dragon Side. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Ryo Tawajai! Right. Congratulations, yes sir. Big love, yes sir, yes, yes. Thanks for joining, Ro. How are you doing? Great, I'm excited doing. to talk to you guys and Russ. Appreciate it. Thank you. Doing very well. Awesome. All right, we're going to get started with some life on the court questions. An undersized guard, New York City, various scouting sites didn't even have you ranked, and universities overlooked you. You're originally a three-star recruit. You know, talk to us about the process, some of the highlights and the lowlights, going from a three-star recruit to making the NBA to becoming, you know, a record scoring holder. It's just, when I was over in Asia, it was just such an experience that I could never forget because I was coming from a place where I was very down on myself and I didn't have much confidence. And I felt like um, me not having much confidence, um, that was the only time in my life where I felt like that. Um, I was coming from Europe. So when I did get to Asia, that was the time for me to expand and compound on my talents and believe in myself. So believing in yourself is, is probably the best advice that I can give, you know, because as an athlete, as he would know, I, I'm, I'm sure he would, he, he can, he can agree. If you don't believe in yourself, then no one else is going to be hard to find other believers. So confidence is very important, and I, I think, I think that's what pushed me through the lows and the highs. It's, it's, it's about rebounding. It's about how can you bounce back. So yes, you've been cut from your team. Yes, maybe you haven't gotten the playing time you may have gotten. Yes, the coach may have thought you weren't the best playing team, but it's how you bounce back. So right. I feel like the way you bounce back is the hard work. So and real, it's vice versa for you. You went from Asia to the United States, and you've also been through a process to get your professional basketball career. That's including your junior college years in the USA and then to a Division II school. So can you talk about some of the highlights and maybe some of your lowlights too for your uh, basketball journey and what it was like playing internationally for you? Uh, so my lowlights was the time that I realized I couldn't go to Division One school. Mm. I had to go to junior college because I couldn't speak English, I couldn't study, I couldn't read English. I was like, wow, because I dreamed of going to the Division One school coming out of high school in Japan. Like I was watching Russ playing in the tournament, actually. So I was like, wow, I want to play, I want to play there, I want to play there. But the time I realized that I couldn't go to Division 1, I was recruited that I wasn't the first option. So I had to go to Division 2 to, to play, get a uh, playing time, and then uh, finish my uh, college career. So that was a uh, low life, but a great experience. Cause, you know, I learned a lot playing Division 2 school. And Playing in, in playing internationally was very experience because I 
what nobody in the space. In the time, people know me, so like people expect what I, what they see, what I'm gonna do, who I am. But in the space, I was nobody, so I had to flip every day to everybody. So that was the challenge of fun. That was that was exciting. We want to just have for you to spit some bars because Rio's going to do the same. Any song of your choice. It can be one of your songs. We can give you a little bit more time if you want. I go first? Yeah. Yeah, you go first. Can you play uh, I Want You Back by Jackson 5? <laughs> nice. You like the Jackson 5? I fuck with it. Oh, I love the Jackson 5. Oh, man. You guys can do a collab. Nice. Facts. I'll I'll drop it in America. Yeah, Rio's gonna be in his album. Cool. Ready? Yeah, That's go a fact. I'll drop it in America. <laughs> Can you guys hear it? Yeah. Okay. This is the mic. That we got. It. I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I love karaoke, so. Here you go. When I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. Those pretty faces always made you stand out in the crowd. But so, yeah, you broke that spot, one that spot, the only two. Now it's much too late for me to take a second look. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, give me one more chance. Thank you. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was Russell, awesome. MJ, we love it. Oh my God, we love it. Anything MJ, we love it. <laughs> love right, it. I do. I give you a little freestyle. A little freestyle. Yeah, for us, freestyle. Yeah, yeah. Off the top, a little freestyle. Off the top. Here we go. I'm smoothing in the moonwalk. Dab because I'm awesome. Extra clean fit with a couple racks on them. Let me talk my ish till your man get up off you. This here is Fendi, but your boo got on La Costa. 60 inch screen, nose running in my section new. Allergic to the haters, so pass me some Benadryl. Penthouse condo with a V12 loft, duplex condo, it look like Top Golf. The East Asia Super League, the goal is to be the Emerge League of Asia. Right. What, what do you right. think about, about that and how it can elevate the sport in the region? And as far as Asia goes, we, I think moving Asia to a, to a level of basketball that everyone can go, yes, we respect them. Like the NBA, like EuroLeague, you know, CBA, and you know, leagues like, leagues that are that are like that and we and that's that's the level we want to get to but higher um i i think that's that's where we want to go and and i and i agree with bro i agree with him um it's um it's just the level of play and and just the the competition and we want to play against good people where that's our job our job is to play against the best uh like russ said we gotta welcome the competition like in japan we only got to play against the import they're only big men. They say five uh, men, so I never get playing against the point guard like like us. So it'll be really good experience to go against you know the best players in in the, in the world, one of the best players in the world. Because without experience, without competition, you never get better. So like if I if I can play against all the good point guards. That's gonna make me better and make me think oh, I need to practice more. So like. It would be great experience for us, definitely. 
apart from the professional side, you're a very funny guy, which all the girls love. Uh, you're very unique. You're stylish. You're all that.、Um, did you ever want to do something else, or have you considered doing something else once basketball is over? Playing professionally, you meet a lot of people who inspire you, like artists, musicians, actors, you know, businessmen. So they definitely influenced me to do a lot of things. But for now, I all what I want to do is playing basketball. It's gonna take me to like where wherever I want to be, I guess. So if I improve my basketball, have better career, I think it's gonna take me to you know. For even after the、uh, when the bas I retire from basketball, but yeah, I'm I'm interested in a lot of things, music of course, acting of course, I mean not just watching and listening though, not me performing, but yeah, I、uh, I like I like to do a lot of things, but that's that was because I went to I went to school in the states, I took a lot of I took a acting class, music class. And that that was fun, and then that you know made me have some interest in those things. So, yeah. I want to ask、uh, if you've seen Rio's aerobics challenge before, and、uh, and his dance moves. Well, Rio be doing dances. Yeah, we we do dance, but we I do regular dance though. I gotta I, see it. We we both dance, right? Rio,、right. show, show us the moves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. We're pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you got it down, yo.、Oh, yeah. <laughs> I promise I do better in the clubs. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. We'll be doing this. We'll be doing this hopefully again、uh, with with both of you soon. Please, it was fun. Yes, sir. All, All right. right. Thank you, everyone. See you guys. Thank yeah. you so much, guys. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love, love, love.